Then we have instantaneous value. Okay, so we will just type here instantaneous. Instantaneous instantaneous value instantaneous value so it is the magnitude of the wave at an instant instant of time or angle of rotation okay so the instantaneous value of a wave is the magnitude of the wave at an instant of time or an angle of rotation so for example if you are going back to our phasor so the instantaneous value of a wave for example if you are going to get Let's have the color blue to get what is the value of the current on this part so that will be the instantaneous value so to get the instantaneous value of a wave for example we are solving for i so our i will be equal to the amplitude so the peak value of the current i m then because it is a sinusoidal wave, so we will have sine. Then we will have the we will have the angle inside our uh, sine function. So we will have the angular velocity times the time because we are considering here the angle of rotation because this one is. Rot, uh, rotating or repeating with respect to time so the this one is equivalent that is omega that is the ang angular rotation that is equivalent to 2 pi times the frequency okay then our t that is our time then our i sub m that is the peak value or the for this instance this is the peak current okay so for the angular rotation the value or the unit must be in radians per second so if the given is in degrees you must convert degrees into radians okay so this one is the instantaneous value then we will go to another definition so we will go to rms okay so rms rms stands for root mean square or also known as the effective value okay so the effective value of a wave or of, of a sinusoidal wave to be exact is defined as So we'll just first write this one, the definition, because it's it is a much uh, longer longer definition.
Okay, so the RMS root mean square or the effective value of a wave is the value at which when applied to a given circuit for a given time that pro produces the same expenditure of energy when DC is applied to the same circuit for the same if interval of time. So meaning, for example, if our V if our VRMS is equal to 230 volts AC, so 2 VAC. So these 230 volts will produce the same expenditure of energy when the when an equivalent DC is applied to the circuit. So if we are also going to apply a 230 volts DC, the same amount of energy is expended or is used by the system. So there is a certain derivation of this one that is using integ integral calculus, but to make the um, to make the discussion shorter, so the RMS value of any wave or if, or if a sinusoidal wave, excuse me is equivalent to square root of okay so it's equivalent to the amplitude or the peak value over the over square root of 2 so that is the rms value then we have also another definition so we will be discussing many values here so because this is the introduction of alternating current okay so we have average value so it is the mean So average value is the mean of all instantaneous value of one cycle or of, of one alternation. Okay, so when you say mean, so that is the average. So that's why it is called the average value. Okay, so the mean. So meaning if you are going to sum up all the values of the voltage or all, all, all of the values on a wave, the instantaneous values of our wave in one half cycle then you will uh, going to divide that one with the number of those values then that value the resulting value will be the average value so to make the calculation shorter for sinusoidal wave the average value so we just call that one as a sub ve so this is equal to 0 0.636 times the amplitude so this 0 0.636 is constant so that is only applicable to sinusoidal wave okay then we will go to So we go to form factor. Okay, so we now have factors on our discussion. Form factor, so that is the ratio. So the form ratio is the ratio of the RMS value to the average value of an alternating quantity. So if we have here the, the formula for the RMS value and this is the formula for the average value. So our form factor it will be 
FF so we just have it as FF is equal to the ratio of the RMS value so we will have RMS over AVE then we will substitute the formula so we have EM over square root of 2 over 0 0.6 EM okay so we could cancel our EM so we will end up with 1 over square root of 2 because this will go down times 6, 0 0.636 okay so we will get the decimal equivalent of that one so we have 1, one over square root of 2 times 0 0.636 that the times equals so that that will be equivalent to 1.11 so 1.11 so this is the value of our form factor for um, sinusoidal wave okay now we will go to peak factor okay so another factor in our definition so we will have peak factor so peak factor is the ratio of the maximum So the peak factor is the ratio of the maximum value to the RMS value of an alternating quantity. So meaning if for example, we will write the formula of that one. So we have P, F. So this will be equal to the maximum. So that will be our amplitude, EM, times the R over the ratio or the ratio of the RMS value so RMS value is equal to EM over square root of 2 so this will be cancelled out this will be cancelled out so our, our peak factor is equal to square root of 2 so in an alternating in a sinusoidal wave or an alternating current the value of the peak factor is equal to square root of 2 okay